Alrighty. So this is a video I meant to do like almost a year ago, but uh, we're going to get it done before January 1st. I'm sorry for the delay and uh, sorry for how slapdash it's thrown together. But uh, like normal, you can see a bunch of junk on this table. And I'm going to break down exactly what it is, why it's there, and uh, yeah, the side stack, which is going to be a yearly event, just in case, you know, you seem interested, but uh, consider hints almost Christmas. Uh, happy holidays to everybody. Merry Christmas. You know, there's there's a lot going on this month. If you can't get in, know that it's going to be every single year in the beginning of January. So uh, before we get into what is in it, um, if you go to nigelsfinds.com, you'll see that there's a lot of stuff that's for sale that has like very, very clearly um, marked up on it. And then if you look in the description, you can see that you can reach out to me and I can show you where I got it and you can get it for the price that I got it. But if you choose to buy stuff that's marked up, this is why you're choosing to do it. Is so you can be entered in this contest for this stuff at the end of the year. Um, now, unlike Members Month, this is not limited just to members. It's available to anybody who chooses to participate in it. So that's pretty awesome. But every person who gets a membership that year is or renews their membership has an entry into this contest. So let's go ahead and break down all the <laughs> not so valuable stuff, but uh, stuff that I felt like needed to be included to spice life up a little bit. Um, right away, you can see a little bile, some, some coins down here, this awesome slinky, which to me it is actually the, the pride and joy of this entire thing, you know. This two dollar bill, we'll get into that, but let's let's just kind of move stuff aside and we'll go through probably not in order of value, but just in order of weirdness to probably value. So yeah, here we go. Um, again, this is one prize given away to one person, and uh, if you have any questions, you can always email me or leave them down in the comments section, and I will. I will get back to you. Yeah. So we're going to slide everything aside, start with the more weird stuff, and then move up to all the other stuff. So not that it's weird or anything, but this is something that is definitely going to be in there. And this is, it doesn't have to be this scent. But as a lot of you know, I started partnering with um, a coworker who has her own candle making company. She sells a lot of other things that I'm going to have to list on the website today or tomorrow. But yeah, one of the things that's going to be in there is one of her candles. You can pick the scent. This one is actually rainwater. And uh, yeah, I mean, I really enjoy it. I enjoy her candles. Let me know if you've gotten one of her candles from being a member and you enjoy them as well. Here's probably, without a doubt, my favorite thing that's going out this year. And it is one of the old school metal slinkies. It's pretty heavy, not going to lie. Uh, most of this contest is also a reflection on the year before and whatever was really focused on on Nigel's Guy Doth Tribe. So, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is one of my favorite things. Look at that. It's not like those little plastic things. Let me see if I can. I really hope you can hear it. That, that would make my day even better. So there's that. There's this Indian compass. It was made in India, and it's really old. It doesn't work as a compass anymore, but it is like a really cool keepsake box. We'll just put this little vial in there so you can see what I'm talking about. And I tried to look this up, but I couldn't find really any information on it other than what is on the actual compass thing itself. I actually don't know how it would have ever worked as a compass, to be completely honest with you. I think maybe it was always just a keepsakes box with, like, I don't know, some weird paper on top of it. It's not magnetic. Do that one more time real quick. It's not magnetic anywhere around it, but it does have two different types of metals that you can see, like a more yellow metal and then a more orange-red metal. So 
That's pretty cool. I actually really enjoyed that as well. There is this huge um, shell casing. If anybody is like really keen on bullets and knows what this, like what caliber this is, please let me know. If you look, it's bigger around. This camera is just not focusing today. I'm sorry. It's slightly bigger around than a quarter, but also slightly smaller than a 50 cent piece. So, and it's, you know, the size of my, my hand almost, you know, it's a big one. Yeah. So there's that. And then for all my favorite business people out there, you know, cause we're, we're always classy here at Nigel's Finds. There is a metal business card holder. And this guy is magnetic on the back, slightly, but not inside. So who knows what to say about that. But uh, classy. Yep. Okay. So, oh yeah. And two of these small magnets to test your metals and what have you. Do whatever you want with your magnets. I'm not telling you how to live your life. I'm not telling you at all how to live your life. Okay. So moving on from just the really random um, <laughs> what's wrong with you kind of prizes. Uh, if you're still here, that's awesome. Because you made it on to round two with the more valuable like prizes. So... There will be three ounces of copper, a roll of miscellaneous wheat pennies. This one's actually just a roll of 56s, but what I'm going to do is put 50, not all 50 different years of wheat pennies, but 50 pennies of various years. I'm really not sure why this, this camera is doing this to me today. There we go. Yeah, it was, it was having some problems there. It was having some problems. So yeah. Um, a roll of wheat pennies. Um, this guy that says it's one troy ounce, a <laughs> hundred mils of fine gold, but uh, we all know that's not true. And it is magnetic. It's like super magnetic. I did look this up, but I completely forgot what it was actually. Um, and because it's magnetic, you know, it's it's not copper or anything like that, but I will look that up. I think it is gold plated, but it does have the uh, Statue of Liberty on one side. And then the torch of the American Eagle and the flag on the other side. Let's see if we can get that to actually do what it's supposed to do. Are you going to do what you're supposed to do? Okay, yeah, so that's better. Which, I don't know, this thing's really cool. I got this in an auction. A lot of this stuff that isn't like here was either in an auction or uh, found in a storage unit. So it's also how it's a reflection on the year past. We have a, I am forever grateful for your service and sacrifice round. And it's got all the seals of like, uh, da -da -da, fire department, all the military seals, I think it's got the police seal on there. And on the back, it's got that. You know, the United States of America. Crest. But yeah, that's a really cool thing. I also got this in an auction. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. So, it wouldn't be this card, because this is one of the cards that just is a little bit more damaged than the others. But you will get either a year's subscription to Nigel's Savings Club or a renewal on whenever your year is up, if you already are a member. So right now, this is on sale right now for $40, but it normally goes up, as you guys know. So yeah, that's pretty cool. There's that. There's the new, but still like everything else has not been listed. Um, silver coin starter pack. 
So this is a 1968 Kennedy 50 cent piece. 1968. 1952 quarter. 1945 nickel. Oh, wheat penny. I'm not sure what the year is. It's probably not an awesome year. Yeah, this one's just a 55. I'll try to find a better penny for this, uh, this contest. A better year of wheat penny. I think I have a a 1920 sitting around somewhere. And a 1959 Mercury 9. So that's going to be in there. We have a... This is the only bill, actually, that I'm throwing in there. Because it's the only really interesting one that I've come across. But, uh, yeah... A 1928 Red Seal $2 bill. Red Seal right there. $2 bill. And again, that's 1928. Alright. I was thinking I was going to like focus, but it's not. It's not. There we go. So yeah. Now on to just the silver, like other than the silver coins. A 2000 toned Walking Liberty uh, da -da -da -da, one ounce coin. So there's one ounce of silver. And another um, ounce of silver in the form of a Trump round. Just because, and again, all the Trump stuff is because of how the reaction went over um, when I first introduced those Trump things. So, you know, you guys, you guys feed the next purchases when you react and you hang out and do all your stuff. So thank you very much. I mean, if there was, if there was nearly as much of a reaction for any, anything Biden, then we'd have some Biden rounds in here. But I don't know if you guys have ever looked at the Biden rounds. They, uh, they're pretty funny looking, and uh, I don't think anybody really, from what I can tell, that hangs out on this channel would be all that interested in a hunk of silver with Biden's face on it, so, or copper for that matter. So yeah, um, and then the last thing that we're going to throw in here is the, uh, yeah, sorry, two grams of gold flakes. See if we can get that better. It's a little over two grams. It's like 2.013, but not enough to really say much about it. And so, yeah, that's the last thing we're going to throw in there. I mean, and again, this is something that grows throughout the year. But this year, I have not really been on it all too much just because of life. So next year, it will also, it's not going to be nearly the same as this year, but it will be, again, a reflection of the year, the types of things that were purchased for um, the channel and giveaways and stuff like that. I, I'm probably not going to have nearly as many bizarre things like this giant shell casing or this, <laughs> this, uh, handmade India thing. I don't really, I really don't know what this is to be honest with you, but I, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Not nearly as much as I love the slinky, but yeah, I love it. But yeah, so again, you know, there is a small list of people who are already involved in this contest and we'll make a bigger deal out of it come 2022 just because 2021 is, is almost over. But yeah, I wanted to get this out there, tell you what was in there and what you're in the running for if you are in the running for this contest. Um, like I said, anything that is for sale, 
with a clearly marked markup thing, that's why it's marked up. You know, it's not it's not like, hey, let me take your money. It's for another contest, and it is this contest. Uh, this will this like contest builds up over the year, and then is given away in January. I'm sorry about the slinky noise. If you can hear that, you know, set that over there because I cannot control myself. Um, so yeah, like in a quick quick breakdown, there's about three ounces of copper, two ounces of silver, a good number of just random metals, two grams of gold, a 1928 silver, wow, nope, 1928 red seal $2 bill, a roll of wheat pennies with various years, not all going to be 1956 like this roll is, and a membership to the savings club. So you can get in on this like as low as I think $15. I think this is the lowest marked up thing, which I believe is the Trump round. It could be something else, but yeah. And I will be adding a few things from this little gal's uh, collection of stuff that she sells, cat and goat. And yeah, her candles are 100% soy wax with a cotton wick. I don't really know much about the candle world, but she's really proud of that. And all I can really say is they smell awesome. So, oh, also with that, like there's, there's a lot of scents that seem like the same, but they're definitely not. They're definitely not the same scent. Like what instantly comes to mind is the hot apple pie and the apple harvest have, I, when I, cause two people already picked those out from the last month's contest. When I got those and I smelt those, those were extremely different smells, which actually, like, it just blew my mind because I was expecting them to be, you know, oh, yeah, this is the same thing. This is a slightly different name. No, it, they were extremely different smells. So I'm going to go ahead and get her candle information on there. And I'm also going to get, like, she has, like, four, four different things, like uh, bath salts. Um, not the, not the Florida type of bath salts, you know, like what, what people use. I don't really know what they're used for, but they're pretty, they're pretty big in some circles from what I'm told. Uh, and a bunch of different like stuff that she sells. I don't know why she sells it, but I'll get that on there hopefully tonight or tomorrow. And you guys can, uh, stay tuned for January's giveaway with all of this and it's not really january's it's it's 2021's giveaway um let's say like i said everything does get added to this contest things get added as you know sales go up just like everything else but uh i don't expect sales to go up because it's the end of the year and it's the holiday season so i expect everybody to <laughs> spend money on their family like as you as you very well should <laughs> um but yeah, so I'm done rambling because this made it almost almost 20 minutes. As much as I'd love to round it up to the 20 minute mark because, you know, crazy is as crazy does. We're going to end it here. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Um, if you're confused and wondering if you are entered in this contest, let me know. I know there's a good number of people who are entered for various reasons like... Um, some people gave their entries away to some people. Uh, there was one lady who I have recently met this year. She just kind of jumped into everything I've got going on. And I think she's actually got two entries in this contest so far, which is really cool. Um, yeah. So best of luck to everybody. I hope you enjoy your holiday season. Oh, yeah. It's the 18th. And this is the first video I've made. So if you are a member, just remember that you have, what, at this point, 17% off any of your purchases. So make sure you, you take advantage of those. It's going to be a pretty busy month for me, so I doubt I'll be making a lot of videos. And now we're, we're definitely almost to the 20-minute mark. So I'm going to end this and stop making all these horrible noises in your guys' ear. Had to. I just had to. All right. So yeah, again, if you made it this far, thanks. So, thank you so much. Um, and yeah, stay safe, stay happy, enjoy your holidays, whatever, whatever type of holidays you do. Sorry if they're already over, but uh, yeah.
Thanks. And we'll catch you on the next one.